For skateboarding, to me, it's like an escape. I like the adrenaline, but it's also like a meditative state, just like playing guitar for me or doing art. It's an activity where no matter what I'm doing in life or how I'm growing up, it's something I can always fall back onto that I know is 100% myself. So I had a car accident 12 years ago, and I drove into a tree, and I had broken both my femurs and my tibia, and my right wrist and my right lung collapsed. I had no fears of being able to never walk again, but it was a big deal for me more when they took my big toe. That's when things got real. That's when I realized they were telling the truth that I was going to lose parts of my body. When they told me that I was had a chance of losing my foot, at that point I made my own executive decision to have the doctors take it. It was the best decision I made because trying to save it, even if I still had it today, it would have been very painful. I think I made the right choice. I didn't have any fears of never being able to walk again. I definitely had fears of not being able to skate again though. Luckily for me, it was my left foot that was amputated, not my right, because my right foot is my dominant foot of standing on the skateboard, so I was able to still continue to skate the same way without having to switch my riding style. Dr. Eustace was great. He was very comforting. Right off the bat, we hit it off. I had a, him and Lou Bobian. He was my technician that made my prosthetics. He was very old school, but he was very helpful with the process of getting up, learning how to walk again. And Sue Callahan, too. Uh, she was my physical therapist. It's just phenomenal. They actually always supported me with being in skateboarding. They, they were always helping me try to find the right prosthetic that would help, something that would stay on, that wouldn't slip around. When I'm kicking off and stuff, they were able to come up with good ideas and make different designs and buy certain parts that helped me excel in being able to skate with being an amputee. If I came across any amputee out there, I would tell them, if I can do it, you can do it.